Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Azure Management Project. Now in this tutorial, we are going to uh, let admin uh, add the chef images and their details. Okay, and admin will also be able to update their image or details and admin will also be able to uh, delete those chef. Okay, so uh, here we can see this is our, our chef part. So first of all, we are going to go to our code and press ctrl f and we'll just see over here our chef so here we can see this is the our chef part so we are going to cut this portion of code let's cut it ctrl x ctrl s and if we refresh now uh, this uh, chef portion will be gone so here we can see there is no chef so we are going to create another uh, file over here inside this view and we are going to say over here food uh, chef dot blade dot php control s then click save now we are going to paste the code that we just uh, cut from home dot blade dot php now control s now we are going to uh, say over here at the rate of include then uh, first do second quotation okay and we will say food chef control s uh, now if we refresh uh, we will be able to see all the chef over here so here you can see the chef is back now we will uh, go to our admin dashboard so let's log in now we will uh, give the admin email this one then give the password click login so here you can see that uh, this is our uh, admin dashboard and uh, this is the chef so if you click it uh, it will uh, show us this space because there is nothing in the chef so first of all we are going to create a chef view for admin dashboard so let's go back to our code and we will create uh, a folder inside our admin so here you can see admin uh, i mean a file now click new file and we'll say over here uh, let's say the same name or no let's say admin chef dot blade dot php so control s save so we are going to copy some code from here we are going to code uh, copy from admin home so let's just copy it control a control c now we will paste it inside this admin chef control v now we will just uh, say over here a single line uh, inside h1 we will say uh, admin chef okay so let's save it control s now we will go to our uh, navbar dot blade dot php and we will uh, find for chefs uh, here you can see chefs now in this href we are going to declare a uh, url so let's keep two second bracket and we'll say url then to first bracket then we'll give two single quotation over here and inside it we'll say uh, let's say view uh, chef okay so let's save it control s now we'll go to web.php and create this view chef route so over here uh, let's just uh, let me just copy this route control c and i'll paste over here over here i will say view chef and then over here uh, i will say the same thing view chef so let's save it control s now we will go to our admin controller and create this view chef and uh, over here we will say public function uh, view chef then uh, we will give two second quotation and inside it we will just return a view return view and then two uh, double quotation over here and inside it uh, we will say admin dot uh, what was our uh, file name admin chef admin chef so let's save it control s and now let's go to a browser and let's refresh 
okay now if you click chef we should uh, see the chef view over here you can see admin chef so first of all we are going to uh, create a table for chef so that we can upload chef's detail in that table okay so for it uh, we need to go to our command prompt and over here we just need to say php artisan make then model uh, let's say our model name will be food uh, food chef and if we uh, press minus m then it will also create a migration in the database okay so let's press enter so you can see model created successfully migration created successfully now let's go back to our code and if you go to uh, models you will be able to see uh, over here foodchef.php and if we go to our database then migration you will be able to see uh, foodchef's table over here so we are going to make some changes over here we will just say over here dollar table then string then inside this uh, first bracket uh, we will say uh, let's say chef name or we can just say name uh, let me just copy this line control c okay let's also make it nullable okay nullable so let's copy this one and paste it over here and we will paste it again so the second one will be uh, speciality speciality it means what is the chef's speciality and the last one will be image the uh, chef's picture okay so let's save it control s now we will go to our command form again press ctrl c it will stop stop it and then we will just over here php artisan migrate and press enter so you can see that our table is migrated now if you go to our browser and then php my admin then here you can see there is no food chef table over here so if we refresh we should be able to see a uh, food chef's table over here so let's click it chef's name speciality and the image uh, column okay so now let's go back to our code and then we'll go to food uh, foodchef.blade.php uh, sorry we'll go to admin chef sorry admin chef.blade.php and over here we will create a form so inside this form uh, we will have some input field so let's say first uh, let's just uh, say div and inside this div uh, let me just put it in a better way and inside this div we will say level so level will be name first one and then uh, we will also have a input field uh, which type will be text then uh, let's say its uh, uh, its name will be name as well and it will be required and let's also add a placeholder which will be uh, enter name so let's also uh, add a style inside the style we will say color color will be uh, let's say color will be blue it means the text color will be blue okay so now we are just going to copy this and paste it uh, paste it on and the second one will be uh, it will be speciality s p e c i a uh, L I T I speciality so the name will be speciality okay so enter the special S P sorry S P E C I A speciality so let's save it now we will uh, add one more input field which will be for our image okay image doesn't require any name and it, it also doesn't require any uh, styling so we just need to say over here input type will be file for image so name will be image and uh, let's remove this placeholder from here okay so it will be actually text i did a uh, spelling mistake text 
text now the last one which will be our submit button so over here uh, we'll just say input type is equal to submit submit okay so it doesn't require any name or placeholder it just require one thing which is value so let's say value will be save so let's save it control s and let's refresh over here so here you can see we have name uh, specialty image and the save button over here so let's uh, it we cannot see clearly so let's add a style over here so let me just copy it and uh, paste it over here control p control s now let's refresh okay now we can see the uh, save button so let's go back to our code and over here uh, inside this form we'll say uh, action and then we'll say method and since we are also sending an image uh, shape image so we also need to say enc type uh, which will be multi part slash uh, form data multi part form data so uh, method will be obviously post since we want to send data to our database and the action now we need to uh, mention a action i mean the a url so over here we will say url then two first quotation uh, i mean the first bracket then two single quotation over here so let's say over here upload chef okay upload chef so let's add a slash before it uh, sometime it creates a problem and one more thing we need to add cs rf to send data to our database so let's save it control s and we are going now we are going to create this url so let's go to web.php and let me just copy this route post control c control v okay so the route will be post and uh, our url name was uh, upload chef right so upload chef and we will give a function name which will be upload chef same thing okay so let's save it now we will go to our admin controller and create this upload chef function so let's go to our admin controller and we will say public function uh, upload chef then to first bracket and then uh, we'll give to second bracket and uh, since we will be getting the data from our admin chef dot blade dot php so we need to say our here request dollar request okay now over here we will declare a variable we will say dollar data is equal to new uh, then our table name which was food chef food chef okay so and we also need to add this table model uh, over here so let me just copy it control c and control v over here and uh, if we want to check the model name here you can see it is food chef so we'll just write it exactly like it food chef so let's save it control s now let's go down and over here we will declare a variable for getting the image so let's say image equal uh, dollar request image uh, okay so this name is actually coming from uh, over here over here okay image now we are going to copy a portion of code uh, from okay so from upload and over here you can see upload food upload right we are just going to copy this three line of code okay so control c now we will just paste it over here control v so here you can see that uh, we declare a variable dollar image name so what it will do that uh, it will give a random name uh, to this image okay uh, depending on time function uh, it means when you are uh, it it means the name depends on the time function okay and after that uh, it is going to save the image uh, to this folder then save the data to our database so over here you can see food image right so we are going to change it to 
chef image and we need to create this folder inside public so let's go to our public folder which is this one here you can see so we are going to create another folder over here so just right click then click new folder and over here we will say chef image okay and press enter so here you can see we have a chef image folder and we have nothing inside it so after uh, uploading the image data we will declare another uh, we will say dollar data then we will say name now equal now this name and this image uh, name uh, should be exactly like in our database okay so name is equal to dollar request then name okay after name we have just only one more field which is the speciality so we will show our here speciality s p e c i a l i t o speciality and over here s p e c i a l i t o speciality after this uh, we just need to say dollar data save okay then we will just return the view return redirect return redirect uh, return redirect then redirect back okay so let's save it control s now uh, we'll just uh, save it over here as well control s okay and then uh, is there anything uh, okay control s over here as well so now let's go over here and let's refresh okay now let's enter the name uh, let's say chef name is yamin uh, let's say speciality is pasty pasty and then uh, we also need to choose an image so i already downloaded some chef image so let's choose this one and open now if you click save okay you can see that it's loading so our images is saved now if you go to our database and let's just refresh over here we should be see, uh, able to see all the data over here okay so we are able to successfully upload our shape images so what we are going to do is that we are going to show all the uh, shape images from database to our here okay so we, first of all we are showing this view from our uh, home controller so if you want to show this uh, shape images from the database so first we need to go to our home controller so uh, we need to go to first app then http then home controller over here so over here uh, 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 you can see that we are already retain, returning the home view with the data of food okay which is actually this one now you might be wondering how we are going to uh, return two data uh, in this home view it's actually really simple first of all we just need to add the model name over here so i'll just say over here use app slash model slash our model name which was uh, food chef and then we are going to declare another data over here so let's say over here data dollar data to is equal to uh, food chef all oh, sorry spelling mistake food chef all okay now we are going to just uh, give a comma over here and then uh, we are just going to give another two set double quotation and inside it we will say data two which is this one it means we are also returning this data data to uh, in our home view so let's save it now we will go to our uh, home.blade.php and over here you can see include food chef okay so we will go to now food chef.blade.php and over here you can see that uh, those are some static data now we are going to remove this uh, static uh, chef data from here and we are just going to keep only on which is the first one so over here we will just say over here uh, at the rate of for each then we will say dollar data 2 as dollar data 2 and this for each uh, loop will end over here at the rate of end 
uh, int for each so let's save it now over here you can see image uh, for shape then uh, uh, the name and the speciality okay so over here uh, now if we go to admin uh, admin controller which is uh, over here you can see that uh, we save our image uh, inside uh, over here chef image okay so we are going to say over here uh, slash chef image chef image slash then uh, we will give to second bracket and inside it dollar we say over here dollar data to image okay so after this uh, we will do the same for our name so again let's give two second bracket and inside it we will say dollar data to then uh, it was name let me just copy it control C and uh, control V so this one will be speciality S P E C I A L I T Y. So let's save it. Control S. Uh, let me just check everything. Uh, okay, there is a spelling mistake for each. So let's save it. Control S. Now over here, uh, you can see three shape images over here. Now if we refresh, we should be able to see only on shape images, which is this one that we just uploaded in our database. Okay. So in the next tutorial, uh, we will uh, let the admin update this uh, chef uh, data and also being able to uh, up, uh, delete the chef images okay so that's all for today's tutorial and uh, thank you very much for watching and if you like the video please subscribe my channel and if you have any problem uh, or if you want to say anything then uh, say it in the comment section and thanks for watching